Hey guys, Corey here with another concept video. Today, it's all about the structure and function of proteins. In our last video, we explained how proteins are made, and in this video, we'll explain how they are structured and have a look at some of their uses. So let's get started. There are many different types and functions of proteins, which we'll discuss later, but one thing they all have in common is that they are specific 3D shapes and that their particular shape is dictated by the unique sequence of amino acids that came together to make them during protein synthesis. This specific 3D shape is created shortly after protein synthesis and is created through four different levels of structural organisation called primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structures. The primary structure of a protein is the end product of translation, as discussed in our last video. Simply, the long chain of amino acids joined by peptide bonds, called a polypeptide chain. The second structure of a protein occurs due to the coiling or folding of the polypeptide chain and is caused by hydrogen bonding between the amino acids. This level of structure can be seen as an intermediate between the primary structure and before the protein folds into its final 3D shape. The tertiary structure of protein refers to the final 3D shape of the polypeptide caused by the way the chain folds up after secondary folding. As stated earlier, this unique 3D shape is the result of the unique structure of amino acid it contains. And as I will show later, it is the special 3D shapes of proteins with their unique folds, grooves and clefts which determines the function of proteins. The quaternary structure of proteins occurs when two or more tertiary proteins come together to make a larger, more complex protein. An example of this would be something like haemoglobin, which is actually made up of four polypeptide chains. Now let's take a brief look at some different types of proteins. Enzymes are globular molecules that increase the rate of a specific chemical reaction or do what we call catalyse it. Enzymes have an active site which allows binding of a particular substrate. Due to the shape of the active site, enzymes are said to be substrate specific, which means that usually each enzyme only has one substrate. If you would like to learn more about enzymes, you will find a video dedicated to them on our website. Receptor proteins and hormones are proteins which work together to allow for communication between cells. Receptor proteins bind to membranes and contain a unique binding site for molecules such as hormones to bind to. Hormones themselves are 3D proteins that allow for communication between cells by binding to the complementary receptor proteins and transmitting messages. Finally, antibodies are special proteins used in the body's defense system. Antibodies are produced by special cells called lymphocytes and bind to complementary foreign particles called antigens, neutralising their effect. So I hope that you can see that even though there are many uses of proteins, they all share a common feature that their 3D shape is crucial to their function. Thanks for listening and check back soon for more concept videos.